a couple different ways. Yeah, it is going to be Shulk versus the Inkling, as we called it. Nico versus Exax. We're going to be moving on to this game number one on Pokemon Stadium 2. Do you see Exax's tag? It is uh, Inosuke. Inosuke, you know who that yeah, is? Yeah, it's from Demon Slayer. Yeah, yeah. that dude on last shot up. <laughs> he will talk about Inosuke as much as he will talk about how much he hates Shulk. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Okay, switch into the shield mode just in case Exax try to tries to go for a few more up airs. It's gonna nullify those attempts completely. Oh wow, my God, dude! What a super early stock. Nico completely turns it around. And the, uh, Exax had a little bit of momentum going into that game too. Yeah, and what's interesting is Nico was able to pull that off in yeah. speed mode, which usually you know we'll see those early type kills, especially if he's like mid percents happen in smash mode, which we didn't, ha we haven't seen yet. It's really just Nico abusing the large hitboxes with Buster mode and the fair strings with speed. Absolutely. And you can see XX trying to get this grab by the ledge, just fading back to avoid that forward air. The forward air in smash art will get the KO from across the stage. From Nico. across the stage. Yes, that's absolutely wild. I mean, are you surprised? I don't think so. Uh, very little surprise me in this game. Okay. Nice. I like the activation of the jump bar to get that little bit of extra height that allowed him to snap the ledge with the side view. Trying to see the future, but it's not in the oh. right place. And good stage spike. I mean, in shield mode, you're not going to get launched very far, but with the assist of that stage spike, Nico's not going to be able to recover. All right, up he out of shield. And in Buster Art, just racking up even more damage. That is such a tough, tough time for Exax. I mean, he actually got, like, he had, like, very little options there. From the initial tech chase, like, Nico didn't get the dash attack, but Exax rolled in, and he was still able to cover that with the back hit of neutral air, which, which set up into the juggle, which got him the kill with the upper air. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but <laughs> like Nico has been abusing yeah. the last, the, yep. the back hit oh. of Nair. Yeah. Like a large amount. Yeah. Especially these past couple weeks. Yeah, I actually first noticed it at port priority when he was playing against uh, the Robin player that's from uh, PNW. I forgot their tag. It was really good Robin, actually. Probably like the best Robin I've seen. Um, but I noticed that and I told him, I was like, I, I really like how you abuse that back hit. Look, the back hit of Nair connects into dash. It connects. It just, it it connects just works. into whatever you want, yeah, man. It works. <gasps> it's the custom oh, combo on, game. Bro. Exact. The going insert, down stock. Insert action here. Okay, going to give a little bit of ink on two. Oh, you go. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Oh, Good man. offensive, challenging that recovery, making it difficult for Nico to get back. He's able to make it back to the stage and unfortunate for Exax. The, the roller did not uh, drown Nico, which is really what Exax was looking for. All right, catching the up smash right there, um, which caught Nico's spot dodge. Back to two stocks apiece right here. Oh, I like that. Exax was looking for the shield mode, trying to get it down, so eat up a little bit of that shield meter. And uh, Nico able to escape after only one hit. There's an up throw, forward air. With the ink, it's actually a lot, or significant amount of damage. Exax doing a really good job right here, catches the jab in. Oh, cut the second jump. Okay, but the air slash is gonna keep Nico in the game. Even delaying the second hit just in case he gets a little bit more air drift. Very smart, but ooh, that was Exax's oh, second no. jump. He has to go low. Oh no, he caught. He got caught doing a neutral getup and charging that up smash. Nico and Smash are taking yet another stock. Uh, he was doing so well, man. And this is best of five, so Exax does have a little bit more time to adjust. But the way that Nico was playing, just creating a barrage of attacks that Exax has to weave around and having so much difficulty. Nice right, air dodging in toward, uh, to this platform actually allowed himself to get a grab. Oh, he gets roller. There's the forward smash. Exax bringing it down to a last stock situation. 86%. Already in smash mode territory. If Nico opted to, he could actually just go into smash mode and then just wait out the timer. Or, you know, trying to abuse smash mode, try and get the hit. If it goes off timer, then just 
pull back in smash mode or shield mode, jump mode, and then just wait for red red ore to come back. Oh my god. He tried to hit him with that two times. Only the second time. Oh man, that shield art actually didn't do Nico any good because he got stuck in the rapid jog longer and got fully inked. Nonetheless, Nico confident in his ability to space out his opponent and that back air securing him yet another game. It's He's up 2-0 now, looking like he's on his way to a 3-0, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the last time they played at, at CLG SoCal Rising it was also a 3-0. Uh, well, let's see, man. That, that was a really close one. Outside of, like, just one large momentum that just kind of carries Nico to the end of the game, you know, XX is able to keep up. Just really, whenever Nico gets in the zone and yeah. is able to call out what exactly is going to do. All right, so we got game three. Back onto Smashville. I, he keeps he doing it. He keeps doing it. I, mean, I, I don't think that's the best place to do it because he just gets stuck in the rapid drive. He needs way more ink than he's supposed to. He does need more ink. I'm trying to think of like what the positive would be in having more ink. Well, like. Yeah, I just I don't I think it's it's just like a muscle memory thing. Like you, you try to escape like other people's multi hits, you probably like sink to the ground and you know be able to pull up shield longer, but or faster. But I don't I don't know, man. It it's just like at just, low at low percent. Like you might just be expecting like Exax to release the rapid jab sooner to like get the launch and maybe the follow up and tech chase. But the shield mode, he just kind of not gonna get launched. Yeah. Yeah, if that was the case, then I guess he would be closer and he'd be able to punish. But hasn't worked out for Nico so far. He's trailing in percent here, stuck at the ledge. And we're holding down, making sure he just gets a couple of slices at XX on the way up. Oh! oh. He's gone. Slap him! Yeah, XX with the first lead of the set so far. Up throw. Oh, this is good. Interesting enough that Nico didn't immediately switch the shield. That has been the play that we've seen with the upper up air at low percents. But Exact expecting the shield mode didn't opt to go for a second one. That was his opportunity. I mean, that's just a 50 50 coin toss. And there it is. There's that shield mode that we were, I was expecting earlier in the game. Yeah, that and that's a much better spot to go for the shield mode activation as he's getting comboed by the up throw. He, he tried completely. To do it right there again. Yeah. Ooh. Barely avoids the roller. Nico's actually taking a significant amount of damage so far on this stock, yet to take one from Exax. Get a little bit of ink from off stage. They yeah, even messed up the positioning from Nico. It looks like Nico was trying to get a drop down fair, but that neutral B from Exax pushed Nico away from the ledge just enough while applying a little bit of ink. But the cross up back air is going to connect onto Exax, and Nico's going to even up the stock, but only after taking 107 percent. Yeah, Buster Art here now. Guess that that wow, did you see that? Dude? How much that did like 20%? I don't know. Buster mode, baby. That's crazy. Okay, good activation of shield. Yeah. That looked like the percent window too. Yeah, yeah, the up throw up air was definitely gonna confirm into the KO. It's back air. Ooh, and just to get a shield up. Just in time. Get him out of here. Every time, any time. I mean, that's a, a pretty unfortunate for Inkling, especially since, you know, he gets so much. Whoa! Oh, is that drag down? Yeah, that was nice. All right, but now Nico's looking nice. He's got Smash Art by the ledge here. Oh, surprised he didn't go for the grab. He went for the up tilt instead. I guess up tilt would have just straight killed. So, yeah, uh, definitely want to put Exact in a horrible position. You know, gonna get sharks for his landing. If not, try and get Nico going for a follow-up up there. But regardless, the down smashing for the tech chase, jump mode. Ooh, and yeah, watch the chase. Uh, All right, back air yet again. Nico at 83%. We know time and time again, we've seen Nico pull these victories from behind. I mean, most players call it the top player play. You know, getting top players. But right now, you know, here in SoCal, we call it the Nico stock. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh man. 
Alright, it's no longer in the so Oh! Okay. Alright, now I'm starting to see the uh, logic behind the shield art activation. Just shield art and switch immediately back to a, a different Monado as he escapes the jab. Right here. Nico trailing, but not failing. And the wow. forward air takes it. 3 0 oh, victory for Nico. I feel like X actually still holding to the right. Yeah, he definitely was. He just flew so fast that, off that the screen. Yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah, that was.